Hush fun. Welcome back, one and all, to the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Oh my god, I love how that works out. Last time, we had done a little bit of busy work. And arrived... Well, we were exterminating monsters and just doing busy work. You know, side questy type stuff. Mayor's house is on the west side of town. Right here. Wow. Isn't this just a gorgeous place? Check out that crazy expensive looking chandelier. Calm down, Estelle. Looks like this is the mayor's place, alright. Now I just wonder if she's home. Oh, do we have visitors? Something like that. Welcome to the Bose Mayor Mayoral Residence. May I ask who you are? We are with the Bracer Guild. The mayor made a request to the guild and we've come to inquire about the details. Well, I have heard from the mayor that we would be expecting you. However, I am sorry to inform you that the mayor is currently out. She has gone to worship at the chapel. When do you expect her back? Well, let me see. Actually, I would imagine her to be making a moment making a return any moment now. Well, we're kind of in a hurry to meet her. Do you think it might be alright if we call on her at the chapel? W well, I don't wish to inconvenience you. Don't worry. It'd probably save both of us some trouble. But if you don't mind me asking, what does the mayor look like? Like a typical wealthy person? Big hat with feathers in it? Dripping in gemstones from every pore? Feathers? Gemstones from every what now? Um, how colorful. But quite off the mark, I assure you. How would I describe her? Hmm. Should I say she looks splendid, or should I say beautifully mature? If she could just be the right, if she could just find the right man, then I could retire in peace. Huh? Never mind. I was just thinking out loud. Ah, oh, yes. This may help. The mayor has a maid accompanying her. That might be the easiest way to find her. I remember there was a woman with a maid over at, over by the chapel. And there is certainly a maid. Oh, there you are. You're the maid we're been looking for. And you are... Estelle, that wasn't very polite. My apologies, we're with the Bracer Guild. We're looking for the mayor so we can confirm the details of a job. Oh, I see. Please let me introduce myself. I am her maid, Lila. I see to the mayor's daily needs. Being served hand and foot, huh? The worlds we live in are really different. So, where is the mayor, if you don't mind me asking? Didn't she come here to pray? She's playing hooky from her religious duties, huh? I'm sure she's probably in the middle of inspecting the situation in the market. She took off after telling me to pray for her, too. I don't know how I should say this, but the mayor seems like she has a unique personality. <laughs> well, doesn't she sound interesting? Even if we weren't the mayor, I'd be kind of intrigued. There is no doubt she's a capable person, although she does have a bit of an unrestrained aspect of her, to her at times. Anyway, I'm on my way to meet her right now. I don't mean to sound impolite, but would you mind waiting at her residence? I will let her know you're there. I don't know how to feel about coming going back empty-handed. Would it be alright if we came along with you? <sighs> Come with me to meet the mayor? Well, I guess that's okay. Let's make our way to the Boast Market, then. And there's Dorothy. Wow, this place is huge. I wonder where the mayor is. Well, she does stand out in a crowd, so I'm sure you'll find her right away. Just as I thought. The two of you should be absolutely ashamed of yourselves. 
trying to force up the price of food at a time like this by buying it all up. You are not fit to be merchants in boats. Ma'am, we were just thinking about how to increase sales for the bows market in general. I don't want to hear any more from you. If it were other products, it would be a different story, but making undue profits on necessities will lead to the negative publicity for the market. Return the goods to their original prices at once. All right, we'll do as you say. Now, I don't doubt your passion for the bows market, but I want you to understand this. Commerce, when you get right down to it, is an established relationship of trust between people. And believe me, if you do business with that in mind, you become you can become wonderful merchants in Bose. Yes, ma'am. We'll do our best. Whew. Madam. Lila, so you came, huh? I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. Actually, you did a wonderful job, as always. But never mind that. These people are here to see you. Please come back home immediately. Oh, that emblem is. Could you be the bracers I requested? Yep, that's us. So, does that mean you're... <laughs> Please forgive me for not introducing myself. My name is Maybell. I'm the owner of this market and the mayor of the Bos region. That explains why she was chewing out people for some unethical business practice. This restaurant looks very expensive. Are you really... are we really going to have a meeting here? I often use this place for business meetings. The food is quite good too. I'll tell you though, Mayor, I've heard the mayor of Bose was a woman, but I never imagined you would be this young. Based on looks alone, I would guess you're only four, five years older than me? Actually, I'm still... I still feel like I'm nothing more than an unworthy successor to my father. My late father was the previous mayor, and all I did was inherit the rights to the Bose market and the political foundation which he set up. That's a rather unvarished self-evolution if I've ever heard of one. After all, I'm just the daughter of a businessman, so there's no sense in getting high hat about it. But anyway, would it be alright to go into the details of my request with you? Sure, that's fine. Well, what I would like to ask is that you do investigate the disappearance of the missing airship and bring closure to the incident. I am of the opinion that bracers would bring about a much more desirable result concerning this incident than the army's currently producing. The reason being, we're not fighting a war, we're trying to find answers and solve a mystery. Well, I, for one, would be honored, but I don't think you're overrating us just a bit. But don't you think you're overrating us just a bit? Eh, just call it a businesswoman's prerogative. The fact of the matter is, I'm an influential businesswoman was aboard... An influential businessman was aboard the airliner that disappeared. In addition, if the Royal Army continues to keep the base, the Bose airspace, a no-fly zone, business is going to suffer. And as a result, the people of Bose will suffer because they cannot get the necessities they need. Here's a lot of, here's a thing people don't realize. I'm going political for a second. Cities do not matter. City trash does not matter. If you live in a city, you are city trash. I am not going to apologize for that statement. Rural areas are far more important. Because without farmers, without ranchers, without the rural people of America, or any other nation for that matter, you will starve to death. That's just my two cents. Let's move on. And just when business had been booming prior to the Queen's birthday celebration. I see, so this is an economic appeal then. Yes. And it's something which I can't be left, I can't trust to be left up to the army alone. So what do you think? Will you accept my request for help in this matter? Well, we have our own re reasons for wanting in to investigate the incident, and we'd like to accept the job, but the army has actively been trying to exclude bracers from anything having to do with the incident. So, uh, I don't suppose you could pull the mayor card for us, could you? Maybe show the army who's running this show? Excluding bracers? Hmm. This must have something to do with General Morgan. That man has disliked Bracers from the very beginning. 
So you know the general, uh, you know who this general is then? He was a friend of my late father's. Ten... Tentatively, tentatively speaking, we have a passing acquaintance with one another. Tentatively? Ten, tentatively. Wouldn't that be tangentially speaking? Like it's sort of, like it's sort of related, like a business expense. Like I don't, I don't know what that word is. I'm looking that up. I'm, 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 I'm genuinely curious. These games are branching in my vernacular. Tentative. Tentatively. 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 Tentative. Tentative. Tentatively speaking, we have a passing acquaintance with one another. Not certain or fixed. Done without confidence. Hesitant. Tentatively. Tentative. Tentatively speaking. Hesitantly speaking. <sighs> I'm just going to say hesitant because it's a synonym for hesitant. My god. So, I may just be able to do something for you. Meaning? Lila? Yes, madam. I guess this should suffice. Here, plates, please take this with you. Mayor Maybell's letter. What's this letter for? It's a letter of request to General Morgan. It is to inform him of my request for information about the incident as the official representative of the region. As the official responsible for the region. What well, shouldn't that be representative? As the official responsible as the official representative for the region or the official the uh, as the official responsible both of them fit but the official representative or official responsible, I feel like there should be a comma there, as the official responsible for this region. I don't think this should be an, I think this should be enough to get some information out of the army. I see. But I wonder if that bracer hating general will even meet with us at, the, at all. I think it should be a pretty safe bet as long as you hide your identities. You should probably be best served by saving, saying that you are messengers for the mayor. I don't know if I like the sound of that. It feels like we're lying or something. It's not lying. We just we just not be telling him everything. A lie of omission is still a lie. Since it's a time sensitive situation, I think we should be practical about this. I guess you're right, Joshua. By the way, where do we need to meet up with General Morgan? There's a fort called Hacken Gate at the international border between the north north to the north of Bos. You should be able to go that find the general there. So Hacken Gate. Alright everyone, I'm counting on you. So you're just gonna leave everything to us. If we find out anything, we'll come and let you know. I'll be looking forward to some good news. Goodbye and have a wonderful day. Goodbye. I kinda like her. I don't know why I made her posh. All right, let's get going, shall we? Especially since I'm not even giving Shara a voice. The Hacken Gate is at the end of the Ison Road to the northeast, to the north of the East Bose Highway. So back to Hacken Gate Road. I don't know why I made her posh. I'm not giving Shara a voice, and Estelle, I just kind of do a higher. I just kind of increase the pitch in my voice. This sounds slightly effeminate. 
I really can't do a feminine voice very well because I have a deep fucking voice. Ison Road. And you are? Wait. Weren't you with the Bracer Guild? <laughs> Too bad, not today. We're here on official business. This is Mayor This is Mayor Maybell's. And the mayor has requested that we come and speak with General Morgan about the status of the search. As you see, this document is official. But if you don't want to let us through, I'm sure you'll be hating life later. Hmm. I guess there's nothing we can do but let you through. You sir, are you serious about this? Don't you know, Mayor Maybell is one in charge of this entire region. Wouldn't that make her a baroness? Especially since she inherited the title of mayor, shouldn't that shouldn't she be Baroness Maybell? I mean, she's the head of state for the Bos region. That that would be a baronry. You can't just ignore that. I guess. All right. We'll grant you permission to pass, but make sure you don't cause any problems. Whatever happens, never forget that we share a border with the Empire. Yeah, we get it already. Right then, let us through. So, we're right on... Hmm. I'm trying to remember the button for... World map. Guy, just yeah, we're right on the border of the Arabonian Empire. called his mama. Very weak to fire. Very, very weak to fire. Oh, are we done already? Tender poultry. Yeah, I needed that for a quest, so if I find a couple more of these, I can get more tender poultry. There's a level up. Yeah, I need... It's the big bird that drops the poultry. That's two tender poultry. If I can get a couple more, though, that'd be great. I don't have any reviving cream. Really don't want to. I'm going to go back and get a heal. Don't have enough quartz for that. How about Estelle? 
don't have enough quartz. But I can open up this one. And Shara, just no. So I can just do it from the party. I'm dumb. I am the dumb. Anyway, back to hacking. Big Bird. And that's enough tender poultry for the quest. Just keep making my way toward Hacking Gate. Okay. Joshua gained a level. That's under poultry that time. Point is, I have five or six now, so that'll be enough for whatever it's called. That one quest where I gotta go back to the fancy restaurant and talk to Gwen. So this is Hacking Gate. It's freaking huge. Of course it's huge. It acts as the sole entrance to the Empire and it is the rampart that protects Liberal from foreign threat. After it was destroyed in the war ten years ago, a more robust wall was built in its place. Standard military reaction, bigger equals better, which means that beyond this point is no longer Liberal. Yeah. It's the territory of the Erebonian Empire, which stands beneath the emblem of the Golden Stallion. The Arabonian Empire. Well, enough staring for one day. Let's meet with General Morgan. There are some barracks right there on to the side, so maybe we'll see him in there. Let's go. Remove those bracer emblems you've got pinned to your chest. Things won't be pretty if General Morgan sees them. Yeah, I forgot that. I feel weird doing this. Yeah, there's something just doesn't feel right. And more lodging. I'm thinking about visiting the Empire. Does it look like anyone here is going to fill out the necessary paperwork for leaving the country, though? Okay. Blonde haired man, what a surprise. This is my first time eating Liberal's cooking, but it was rather delectable. This motherfucker right here. I know who that is. I'm glad you like it. If you, had, if you head to town, there's a number of other places where you can eat great liberal food as well. Enjoy your trip of yours, alright? That I will do, believe me. This is the kind of food I can get in a border dive like this. Then I truly am in, the, in for a feast elsewhere in the land. Well, excuse me for having a bar here on the outskirts of, my count of the country. Before you go feasting on finer things, how about a glass of wine? I know it's not high-end exactly, but the taste is much worth the price. Well, then maybe I will. Do you think this guy is... He looks like a traveler from the Empire. He is important. Very, very important.
How in the world did you get through? The barricade hasn't been lifted on the Ison Road yet. We came here on an errand for the mayor of Bos. You think we could get in to see the general? Well, that's understandable. In that case, I could definitely get you into the general, but unfortunately, he's out at the moment, because of course he is. He's actually spearheading a number of searches right now. It looks like our timing was bad. You don't happen to have any idea when he might return, do you? I think he'll be back sometime today. There's a bar on the re at that rest stop over there, so why don't you wait for him? I'll let you know when he gets back. The bar? You mean the place we were just at? Why is there a bar in the place like this, anyway? Because soldiers go on leave and like to have a drink in on when they unwind. Obviously, because this is the border with the Empire. The screening process for those entering and leaving the country is strict, so there are a lot of travelers here who have to wait. That makes a lot of sense. In that case, it's understandable that you need, would need facilities like an inn and a tavern and a bar. Well then, we'll take you up on that suggestion and wait at the bar. I wonder if we're going to get this mother cheeky motherfucker in my party now. Good day to all, my f good day to you all, my fine friends. You appear to be citizens of Liberal, but may I ask you something? If you're traveling to the Empire. Uh, no, we're just here on an errand. We're not traveling to the Empire. You appear to be a citizen of Erebonia yourself. What about you? Are you here to visit the Kingdom of Liberal? Ha! I'm glad you ask. I am indeed a visitor in Liberal, both for work and for pleasure. And you? You say you're running an errand, but I can see your true colors. I know exactly who you are. Who we are? Indeed, your braces. How did you know? We removed our emblems. Wait, are you trying to tell us that you're in the same profession? It is true that there are guild branches in, in the Empire, but I'm not a bracer myself. I just know several people in the guild, and there's an air about you that reminded me of them, so I just thought I'd ask. Those are some excellent deductive reasoning skills you've got there. I don't think an amateur could have picked this out of a crowd like that. So are you really just a traveler? Ha ha ha, please don't look at me with such suspicious eyes. Those cold, flickering eyes of Amber, just like a glass of exquisite brandy. You just make me want to kiss you and hold you in my arms. What? You're a bold one, aren't you? Wait a minute. Are you one of those men who likes other boys? That is not the case. I can't help myself whenever I see something beautiful standing before my eyes. He's perverted. Everyone in his family is perverted. Daughters of serenity, sons of elegance. Supernal melodies and cleansing landscapes, masterpieces and stories to move the very soul. And last but not least, the most exquisite in food and drink. For things such as these are a rich peak my interest. So you're a pervert. Just like I thought. Yeah, that, that he is a pervert. <laughs> yeah, definitely a pervert. How dreadful it is that genius is misunderstood in every generation. I feel as though my delicate glass heart is about to be broken. You, with your magnificent black hair, please comfort me in my time of need. I'm gonna have to pass. You've already scared me for life as it- you've already scarred me for life as it is. I've heard strange conversations in my day, but this one is worth remembering. The look on that kid's face! Ha! <laughs> you three. You're the soldier from earlier. The general has just returned. I spoke to him about the matter and he said he'll meet with you. Really? Yes, so come with me to the barracks. That was much quicker than I thought. Yeah. Now at least, maybe we'll be able to find out what's going on. Okay, then let us be off, shall we? Wait. The pervert's coming with us? Apparently. So you're just following us around now? Your timing is excellent. You didn't miss a beat exiting behind us. It seemed almost natural, scarily so. Ha, you noticed. 
Everything about you just seems so interesting. I thought I'd take a gander. Please don't mind me. Carry on. Go, my good. Carry on, my good gent and mademoiselles. Of course we're going to mind. Now get you. Shoot. Scrooge. <laughs> Just who was that guy? Seriously, what was his deal? He's not normal, that's for sure. Getting rid of that weirdo was probably better not only for ourselves, but a service for the world at large. Let's hurry and meet with the general. Yeah, uh... We'll come back to him a little bit. I could hear you arguing. Was there some kind of problem with another traveler? Nothing big. That aside, could you let us in to meet with the general? Yes, he's quite he's just inside. His office is the last is the last door on the left. Make sure you don't go wandering around the place. Or you're not permitted. In other words, go in and talk with the dude. A mess hall. Some sleeping quarters. Can't go in there. Are you here on behalf of the mayor? Um, are you here on behalf of Mayor Maybell? That's right. Very well. Come inside. Thank you for seeing us. can't do a gruff old man voice, so I'm just not even going to bother. I'm glad you came. My name is Morgan. I've been tasked with guarding the Hacken Gate at her, by Her Majesty, Queen Alicia. It is an honor to meet you, sir. We are, off on we are here on behalf of Mayor Maybell. Please pardon our intrusion during such a busy time. There's no need to apologize. I've known Maybell since she was just a child. I couldn't imagine ignoring her request, much less one from the mayor. All right, then. Would you please read this? Hmm. So it's about the airliner. Under ordinary circumstances, that information would be strictly confidential, but considering this is a request coming from her, I'll tell you what I know. Sweet. Why are you happy about something that doesn't concern you? Crap, I should have just kept my mouth shut. The mayor appeals quite distraught over the situation, and we wanted to do anything we can to do to assist her. I see. Well, I'm glad to hear that she has been blessed with some good people around her. Let me explain. Let me get right down to things and explain the status of our search. Uh, have fun playing Sonic Frontiers, Keyblade. Please do. The airliner Lind disappeared on its way to Roland after taking off from the Bose landing port. Presently, we have units searching the areas of the region, but we have yet to come up with anything. So what you're saying is, the possibility of the incident being caused by monsters or an accident is fairly slim. If an airship of that size crashed, it likely would have been discovered in the initial search efforts. Exactly. In fact, the flight route between Bose and Roland goes over some planes that have a commanding view of the land. And of course, the probability of the airliner going down in Valley of Lake or the ocean is low. Yeah, especially considering we're not near an ocean. Boy, am I relieved to hear that it's probably not the worst case scenario. So if those have been ruled out, then that leaves the door open to the possibility that the airship could have been taken, which makes me think that not only remaining motives must be loot in the cargo or demand a ransom for the hostages. In other words, a hijacking. Also, considering the geographical conditions, it could have been a covert operation carried out by the Imperial Army. And that would cert really bring news if that were, if that were the case. What's the matter, General? I was just thinking that that's quite an impressive assessment for civilians. We've also considered the possibility that the Imperial Army was involved, so we have enforced the strict regulations on the flow of information. An international incident, if taken lightly, could result in war. War. But thanks to the small mercies of Adios, the possibility of another conflict disappeared early this morning. A certain organization sent a letter to the royal family and the Orbital Ship Company, claiming responsibility and demanding ransom for passengers. 
The organization goes by the name of the Capua family. Of course it's them. The Capua family? It, it couldn't be who I think it is, could it? it? certainly appears to be that way. The Sky Bandits who have been operating in the shadows in the Boast region are led by three siblings at their lead, at their head. I take it you've heard of them. Not only have we heard of them, we just had a run-in with one of them in Roland. I can't believe those good-for-nothing thieves have managed to create such a big incident here in Bose. Estelle! Oops. You had a run-in with them in Roland? I heard that some of them and their gang had showed up in the Roland region, but... I think he's on to us. Yeah, because you and your big mouth. I see now. I thought the way you were able to analyze the situation was strange for just mere civilians. But I never would have guessed that a girl and a couple of kids like you were bracers. Who are you calling kids? You. You're 16. Just for the record, Mayor Maybell did in fact request that we come here to talk with you. Silence, deceivers. Get in here, men. He looks pretty pissed. So this is how a hard-nosed military man acts, eh? What's the matter, General? Did these visitors try to pull anything funny? These bracers need to be shown the door. Throw them out immediately. What is that your problem, old man? Trying to brush us off like bugs. You're no different. Hiding your identities so you could try and finagle some information out of me. It's because you up underhanded actions like that that bracers can't be trusted. Just who are you... Just what? where do you get off calling it finagling? It's your own fault since you didn't share the information with the guild to begin with. Nonsense. Who in their right mind would leave an incident this big in the hands of a group of mere civilian group? Buddy, we work for the same government. Fuck you. I swear, of all the stupid things Maybell could have pulled. Hiring a bunch of kids like this and getting in the way of our search party. How about you cut with the crap, General? Why do you think we've had to come all the way from Roland to begin with? It's because when it comes down to it, you military morons can't do your own damned work. What did you just say? Holy cow. Sherry's really pissed. For the past few months, you've, been, you've known about the sting of burglaries, which seemed to be the work of the Sky Bandits. And who, knowing full well it was with them duped, dumped in the workload onto the guild instead of looking into them to themselves, like they should have, huh? I disagree with that, Shara. Uh, the military's job is to deal with international problems. The Bracer Guild, which is similar to the United States National Guard, is the responsibility of the, na something like, something like, things like that would be of the National Guard, or in this case, the Bracer Guild is what I'm trying to say. So this is your job, Shara. And now, the second this incident happens, you get on your high horse with an attitude. Yet, you have nothing to show for it. No hostages, or even the location of the missing airliner. Don't you think that's an embarrassment to this entire kingdom? Silence, girl. The military is an organization that runs on discipline and does not take action on a whim. Unlike a group I know, who, doesn't, who didn't think ahead and let the skip eye bandits escape. So enough with your insolence. So you're really looking for a fight, aren't you? How sad it is to see such discord. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Strife brings nothing to be born, but only extends the barren wilderness of our hearts. Wildness. Wilderness of our, within our hearts. Let me sing a requiem for you. One to soothe your patched soul, your parched souls. A gentle yet wistful tune to bathe your brittle spirits and cause the deserts of your hearts to bloom. Brightly shooting stars, leaving trails in the sky. He said it! He said it! He said the thing! Like a guiding light, they show me the way to your eyes. This yearning passion tears my heart in twain. And the cruel moon cracks. The cruel moon mocks my pain. If this fleeting dream shall never be.
A single wound will remain in my heart for all to see. Our passionate first and final kiss. Your tears to me are an amber bliss. Let us immure this internal love. Haha, -ha. it looks like you all understood what I was trying to get across. What is it that is most precious above all? That's love and peace, baby. Uh, I think it's about time for the search party to be returning with their reports. Th that that's right, General. I should get back to my duties and make sure you don't let these damn kids in again. Oh, and cancel any further checks on the travelers along the ice and road. Having these kids around any longer will be just be an eyesore. Right away, sir. He ran away. If we could escape, he's still right behind us, isn't he? Good God, what's going on with fucking Blondie over there? <laughs> oh, this was not made for PC. Let me be clear that this is a legitimate port. I'm playing this on Steam. It is a legitimate port. This is not emulation. Okay, it's technically emulation, but I'm not. It's not a pirated copy. It's not like I'm running a fucking bootleg or anything. No, no. It's just. It's just. <laughs> what the fuck is going on over there? Ah, <laughs> no matter which contrary you, country you visit, military men lack romanticism. By you lot, on the other hand, appear to appreciate my aesthetic sense. Ugh. Y you know, maybe we should get going ourselves. Yeah, good idea. We had a bit of trouble, but we did manage to get information. After all, after we head back to Bose, how about we think about our future plan of attack? Hmm? Wh where are you going? Wait for me! I mean, please wait for me. God damn it, he's following me. Let me try and introduce myself again. I am Olivier Linehan, Linham, a wandering bard and a musician for trade. Yes, his name is actually pronounced Olivier, not Olivier. His name. And no, that is not his name, by the way. That is an alias. I think you could figure out that this guy is not what he seems to be. Also, this game is tw is 19 years old. Fuck, this game is 19 years old. Anyway, his name... He's going by Olivier. As you already know, I am Erebonian, touring your fair liberal. I'm Estelle. And now, wait a minute. Why do we have to introduce ourselves to you? Easy, Estelle. He did intercede for us back there. I'm Joshua. And I am Sherazad. Things were pretty heated, and I'm glad you stepped in before something really bad happened. Just let me say, let me say, just say thank you. Ha! You've got nothing to thank me for. I only did what any person who loves beauty and peace would have done. However, if you insist, how about going out on a date with me for a day? I'm gonna have to pass on that. First of all, I don't have that sort of free time. That's too bad. All right, then. I guess I'll accept Joshua as a substitute. What? Do... What do I have to do with any of this? Please don't involve me in your questionable humor. Well, that's an odd. I didn't mean it as a joke. Saying that makes you even more questionable. My god. Yeah, he's... His whole family is perverted. Well, his little sister is just as perverted anyway. Now, just a minute. How come you didn't invite me on a date? You? Um, I don't know how to put this, but... You're a bit lacking in the sexy department. She is 16! You might want to think about taking a lesson or two from your friends here. Well, excuse me for not being sexy. 
You are 16, Estelle. And just what do you mean by saying I could take a few lessons from Joshua? C c calm down, Estelle. I think you're cute enough just the way you are. Though I guess it's true. You are a bit lackluster in the sexy category. She is... What did you just say? Oh, good grief. Anyway, like I said before, we're busy. I'm sorry, there's no better way to thank you, but we're gonna have to get going. Then how about you take me along with you into the city of Bose? This is my first time in Liberal, after all, and I'd like to request you, and I'd like to request a guide. Well, if that's all you want, then I don't mind. Sharon, now wait just a second. It's the least we can do, and we're heading to the same place anyway. Plus, acting as a guide is one of the duties as a bra of a bracer. Oh, all right. I guess we're stuck with him until then. But 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 what if he tries to sink his poisonous fangs and of lust into Joshua, Estelle? Don't worry, Joshua. I'll save you from his perverted attentions if he tries anything funny. What is exactly that you think he'll try? Please don't refer to me as such as such some as some ferocious beast. I'm rather what you call a hunter of love. Even Love Stealer wouldn't be that bad of a title either. <laughs> Ugh. Are you alright in the head? So how about it, everyone? Shall we leave for Bose? I'm counting on you all to get me there safely. Let us be off. Who died and made you leader? Now wait just a minute, you. I'm not done warning you about that gr grisly fate that awaits you if you sully Joshua's innocence. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, his name is, Ol he's going by Olivier. And he does have orbments. He does have a battle orbment. And he does have a orbital handgun. Olivier. Made by the Empire's Reinford Company. That name is important in the Trails of Cold Steel arc, which is the Erebonian arc. One of your party members in that game is Elisa Reinford, daughter of Irina and Franz Reinford. Might as well show up the new guy. As stated, he has an orbital gun, as well as quick draw and howling bullet. He is our first. He is our example of a ranged attacker, because he has a gun. He's kind of like Slowpoke Rodriguez. He got a gun. As stated, yes, he is a pervert. As is his younger sister, who you meet as well as as well as meet in the Cold Steel arc. But I've already covered the Cold Steel games on my YouTube channel. However, and for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, uh, you already know that. And that's kind of what I mean by if they kind of if they get you from behind, it still counts as a surprise attack. It's a lot of bullshit, is what it is. Actually where they can get your tailing party members. I'm glad that's not a case. I'm glad there's no tailing party members in the Cold Steel arc, because that would get very annoying. So we're gonna go turn in that, poultr that poultry meat. And then call it an episode. So this is Bose, is it? It's more urban than I imagined. That building over there is the Bose Markets, no? Well, you seem to quite knowledgeable. Are you sure this is really your first time in Liberal? Ha! I was smart enough to buy a tourist guidebook before I left. One published by your very own Liberal News, no less. A guidebook? Do they really sell such things? Yes. 
I don't know how to say it, but we really live in a convenient age. So do you intend to go shopping at the Bose Market? Yep, and after doing a bit of window shopping, I plan to dress up and dine out. According to the guy, there's supposed to be a three-star restaurant in town. Right, the place we ate at with the mayor, er... What I mean to say is, I guess this is the place. Yeah, and I'll be going there. The Aunt Rose Authentic Liberal Cuisine, or so they say. Indeed, no doubt this is the place. I'm quite looking forward to it. But this is supposed to cost a pretty... This is supposed to cost a pretty mira if you, in, if you decide to go with a full course meal. I'd have to recommend a normal bar over this any day. Do not worry not, my fair lady. I've brought sufficient travel expenses. And if that's not enough, I'll earn more with my superb skills. Superb skills. You're not talking about your songs and music... You're not talking about your songs and musical, uh, renditions, are you? You can actually earn Mira with that crap? Ha! Huh. I starred in the main opera singer in the great theater in the Albertian capital before. If I remember right, I earned one million Mira in a single night. Big fat liar. Alright, everyone. Good work. I guess this is farewell until fate brings us together once more. Adios, amigos. What horror have we unleashed upon this poor innocent city? Is everyone from Erebonia a weirdo like that? I, I don't know. I don't think I like the idea of that being the Empire stereotype. Huh? What I'm trying to say is that I think the majority of the people there are quite serious. I read in a book that their ethos respect the strong, silent type. Hmm. So what you're saying is, he's simply a weirdo because he's an artist, pretty much. And just hold on there, Estelle. If the artists of this world heard that, they'd be less than pleased. Okay, let's report in. But the answer is yes, he's a weirdo, and artists are weirdos. Liberal omelet recipe. Yeah, okay, that's enough of that. Interesting how there's a back. It's interesting how it shows there's a back door to the place, but it's inaccessible. Look at that on the map. There's a back door to Antro's, but it's inaccessible. Unless they mean this door, which it's weird that that would be shown on the shown on the map, and there's no door in here. So the only only point of logic is that either the back door is that one in the in the restaurant itself, or there is an inaccessible door somewhere over there. Hackers, do your thing. To tell me what's over there. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna go turn these quests in. And there's... Nebble Valley Monster. A ferocious monster known as a Master Cryon has been spotted roaming the Nebble Valley. Bracers from this branch are requested to deal with the threat immediately. And the West Bows Monster on the Western Bows Highway. I'll have to go deal with that next time. So it's you kids. So did you find out anything after the incident? Tee you bet. Valuable information. So the Sky Bandits and the Capua family. You're right, that is valuable. It looks like we're able to decide on policy for the Bracer Guild related to this. However, I'm surprised to hear that the General Morgan is even bigger Bracer hater than I had originally thought. Yeah, I was surprised myself. In Roland, the job of a Bracer is pretty much respected by everyone. So to encounter someone that hates Bracers... Don't worry about it. General Morgan is an exception. Under normal circumstances, the Royal Army and the Guild maintain pretty good cooperative relationship. 
However, it looks like this time you're going to have to deal with a lot more than you bargained for. Well then, I guess we'll have to try and get make steady efforts while maintaining a low profile. But it looks like these recent burglaries are also the work of Sky Bandits. This, the burglary that happened in Roland was also mild in comparison. Yeah, and to hijack an airliner and then to turn around and demand a ransom from the royal family? The risks there are greater than any potential reward. In light of that, we should probably do a little more on the investigative side ourselves. We'll be doing that next time. Join me then on The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky as we... Well, continue. I'm the Dark Seraph, signing off.